Do you want to share the gospel, but you can't remember all of the Bible verses that you're supposed to go to? Or you don't have your Bible where they're marked so you know which one to go to next? Alright, I'm going to show you this. It's Psalms chapter 51, verses 1 through 4. And then all the way at the end of the Bible, Revelation chapter 1, verses 5. So Psalms 51, and then flip it. And it's Revelation 1, 5. All right? Psalms 51 says, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Alright, so we see here in Psalms 51 that the writer, who is David, um, is acknowledging his sin. He's acknowledging that he's sinned against God, that he's the problem. He's also acknowledging that God will punish his sin, and that God is justified in punishing him for his sin. Okay? And we know that that's why Jesus died on the cross, because he took our places. And we'll get to that in a moment at Revelation. Um, then David turns to God, all right? So he's repenting, which means he's turning to. Now, you can't face God, which is all the good things, and at the same time, face sin, which is all the bad things. So if we are currently walking towards sin, walking in sin, and all of these bad things, when we repent, we're going to turn to God, and sin will be behind us, okay? So when we turn to God, sin is behind us, all right? So he's turning to God, and he's asking God to show his tender mercy, which is also known as undeserved kindness, or in the eyes of many, grace. And God will show us undeserved kindness and grace when we turn to him after acknowledging that he is the way. All right. Now, so that was Psalms 51. Now you're going to flip it and you're going to go to Revelation 1, 5. Okay. That's the very last book of the Bible. So when you don't know what to do and you're at your wit's end, go to the end of the Bible. Revelation 1, 5. And it says, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. All right. So now Jesus died. Now at this point you would explain that Jesus died on the cross. He came down here. He lived a sinless, a sinless perfect life. And then he died on the cross for our sins. He took our place. And he is the one that does the washing. So just like when you get into a shower, you don't go clean yourself and then get in the shower. No, that's what the shower is for, right? So when we go to God and we ask for his mercy, Jesus will wash us with his own blood because he loves us. He is the one that does the washing. So there's absolutely no need for anybody to get themselves right first before they go to God. No, we go to God and he gets us right with his blood. All right. God bless you. I really hope that this helps somebody.